the court, the highest court in Europe. <clears throat> Yesterday, the highest court in Europe issued a decree that employers in Europe can ban their employers for, from wearing hijab if they decide to wear hijab. This happened after so many complaints by some Muslim employees where their employers banned them from wearing hijab at work. So those Muslim employees decided to take their case to the highest court in Europe and unfortunately that was the decision made by the court, the highest court in the Supreme Court of Europe by allowing employers to discriminate. Basically, by legalizing discrimination in Europe against Muslims. Now, this happens at the time that here in America, a federal judge in Hawaii had the courage to again stop a ban on Muslims issued by President Trump, citing discrimination against Muslims. And you see the paradox between the, the Supreme Court's decision in Europe and between the decision made by a federal judge in Hawaii. What is justice here? Is it part of justice that I stop an observing person, be it a Jew, Muslim, Christian, it doesn't matter. They accuse Islam of imposing itself on others, while Islam is very clear in the Quran. In chapter 2, ayah 256, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, La ikraha fi deen. There shall be no coercion in faith. You do not coerce any person to accept your faith. You leave people alone. You don't force your faith on any person. Why, rather, you educate. You only educate. And this leads me to talk about another local issue here in Dearborn, where I was told that a group of missionaries had opened a coffee shop somewhere in in Dearborn, Michigan Avenue or somewhere, I'm not sure exactly where, where they used this coffee shop as a front for proselytization by trying to convert our young Muslims, our young Muslim brothers and sisters into Christianity. And I was asked, how do we, how do we Muslims feel about this? Are we against those missionaries? Well, listen to me, my dear brothers and sisters. As Muslims, we're not afraid of any person preaching their religion. Islam is a very strong religion. Only those who feel weak in their faith, they try to shut down their opponents. We don't need to shut down any person. People have the freedom to preach anything they want in Dearborn or any Anywhere else, we live in a free country. Any person can preach his religion, no problem. But, of course, as those missionaries have the freedom to preach rel their religion, we have also the, preach, the freedom to caution our young brothers and sisters, especially those who are vulnerable, and their faith, we caution them about the risks involved in exposing yourself to this type of preaching. In other words, those missionaries can preach their religion, and we have the right also to educate our youth. Teach them. Teach them Islam. If we teach our kids Islam from day one, and they are educated on their faith and they are equipped with the right knowledge 
on their religion, we're not afraid. But if my kids are not so immune, I have not invested in their Islamic knowledge, in their Islamic education, as it is the case among so many families in our community. The father is busy with his work. The mother is busy taking rounds, visiting this family and this, that family. And they leave their kids for the street to raise them up. And then those kids are so vulnerable. They grew so vulnerable in their faith. They don't know much about their religion. They have never been encouraged by their parents to go to any Islamic center or institution to learn about their religion. And ultimately they fall often victims of this kind of proselytization. So the bottom line, my dear brothers and sisters, let's be clear. We Muslims are not against anybody opening a coffee shop here in Michigan to preach their religion, be it Christians, Buddhists, whatever. But we have to be also concerned about the well-being of our children by educating them. And this is why I say, my dear brothers and sisters, always make sure that you ensure proper Islamic education, not only for yourself, but for your children as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu qu anfusakum wa ahlikum naran wa quuduha al-nasu wal hijar. Make sure that you protect your kids from the fire. I don't, I don't mean the fire of Akhirah, no. The fire of this dunya, when we go negligent and don't care about the well-being of our kids, and we, we allow our kids to be exposed to all kind of propaganda, then we will lose them ultimately. And then we will fall short in our responsibility and ultimately we will fail. So, I hope, inshallah, there are enough parents in our community who would heed this call. Allahumma aghfir lil mu'minina wal mu'minat, wal muslimina wal muslimat, 